to all dreamers welcome back to my channel so today what we are going to be doing is a very simple interesting and fun project so what the project is we will be making a smart bin and what how it will work is when we take whatever we need to throw close to the bin the bin will open we can put it inside and then the bin will close so without waiting let's see what we need so we need a bucket a piece of cardboard some jumper wires a battery pack a servo motor an ultrasonic sensor and an arduino uno so now let's mark and cut the cardboard for the lid of the dustbin So I sticked it like this and how it's going to be is it's going to be here so the dust bins like here. Now we are going to make two holes to put the ultrasonic sensor. So I've made the hole let us fix it. So now let's connect the Arduino and start the programming. Okay so now it's time to upload the code. So before I upload the code I want to explain the code to you guys so you guys can understand it. So the start here we have a hashtag include servo tag. Now the what it does is is going to include the libraries that are required for the servo for us to use a servo and um everything that we need to use a servo and after that we have two constant integer variables which um we are going to call trigger which is going to be pin number 12 and echo which is pin number 11 and that's where we are going to connect the, the pins from our trigger and echo which are from the vcc which are from the ultrasonic sensor and then here in our we, we are going to have two integer variables which are going to change which is our duration and distance variables and then we are going to call our servo servo for easy understanding and then in our setup or void setup we are going to make our trigger our output echo input attach our servo to um pin number 4 and then make it move 10 degrees and wait for 2000 microseconds and then make our serial terminal begin and then after that in our void loop we're going to make a send a high voltage to trigger pin uh wait for 1 second and then send a low voltage and then after that over here uh we're going to change our duration variable from 0 we're going to change it to the pulse or the input that we're getting in our echo pin and then after that uh, we need to turn it into centimeters or a value that we can understand so we will divide duration by 29 and then divide the whole thing by 2 and then we'll have our serial terminal term, terminal print distance and then it's just a simple two if statements is if distance is e equivalent to 10 move it 180 degrees wait for 2 seconds and then move it to 10 degrees and then the same here if distance is 15 move it to 180 wait for um wait for 2 seconds and then move it to 10 degrees and then wait for 1 second so other than that there's nothing else in the code and you can just click the upload button and it'll upload to the arduino i've finished the programming and coding now it's time to fix the arduino uno in the bucket now i have to stick the battery pack for all of this i'm using a double sided tape okay now it's time to start the connections so from our ultrasonic sensor we'll take our vcc and we'll connect it to our 5 volt we'll take our then the next to we'll take the ground and we'll leave it on ground and we'll take our tr trig trigger and have it on the pin number 
and our echo in pin number 11 and then we will just take our battery pack and connect it to our Arduino ok so now I am using hot glue on the bucket so we can stick the lid for it Okay, so now we are going to use stick the servo using double sided tape. And then now to put the wires in, we are going to put a hole. Now I am going to use this, take a string and tie it around the washer. Ok so I have made a hole, now what we will do, we will take a, the string in the washer and we will pass it through here, have the washer be inside. Now I am going to take the string and pass it through one of the holes in the solver. Ok now let's, it's time for the connection of the servo with the Arduino so we will take the uh, we will take the ground of the servo so first we will take the ground and we will put it to the ground we will take the VCC and we will put it to the 3.5 volt and then we will take the connector pin and we will put it to Pin number 4 Ok so the connections are done Now let us test if it works Ok so it's working So I'll take what I want to throw here to it and then it will open because the ultrasonic sensor senses me and then it makes the servo open open the lid and then after it opens it will wait for two seconds and then it will close again so just like that and put it in it will close So that's it for the video, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. So I'll see you in the next video, stay safe and goodbye.